Hi, it's Carl. Uh, we're going to look at how to configure Keycloak to enable service accounts, which can be used for machine-to-machine -machine transactions between the authentication server, so that you can get tokens to talk to an API like Stig Manager. An excellent primer on this whole topic can be got this way. Put the search into Google, you'll end up, uh, I think, with your top result being this article. Definitely worth a read. We're going to be focusing in this video on the most basic way that a client authenticates to the authorization server, and that's using client ID and client secret. We'll do another video to explain a more robust and secure way, which is using signed JWATs. I'm going to go ahead and log into the Keycloak uh, admin console, which takes me into my, my realm that I want to work with, which is Stigman. I need to add a new client. So I'll create a new client. This will be machine client. And it's actually very straightforward. Uh, by default, the access type of this client is public. We want to set that to confidential, which now enables uh, this option, service accounts enabled. That was not available to us for a public client. We want to turn that on. And then we want to save our work. Uh, and yeah, we have to specify a redirect URL. So this is not what you should do in production, but we'll do it for now to get through, make it a star. Now the credentials tab becomes available to us and Keycloak has generated a client secret for us. Uh, the client ID was machine client. The secret is the secret here. So we would copy and perhaps paste that into some code or a file and use that for when our client needs to request a token. We'll look at the code for doing that in Node.js in another video. 